Hey guys, welcome back to Daisy's World and in today's video we'll be doing a quick unboxing of the Sony A7S III. So let's find out what's inside the box, shall we? guys so sorry that uh, I happen to look like this today but I'm in the process of redesigning my entire bedroom uh, sort of to make it look like a sort of like a studio type of setting and I've got stuff like literally all over the place I already started a few videos it's uh, three videos in the series and I'll leave a card up here or in the end so you guys can check out how I transform my bedroom into one of those YouTube studio type setups. You know, I wanted a dedicated space where I can record comfortably instead of like having to set everything up every time. So yeah, that's why I look like this today as well as keeping an eye on today's football games because Buffalo won yesterday and while I'm a Giants fan, Anytime somebody from New York does something, yes, New Yorkers, we're going to cheer. So, go Buffalo. Okay, guys, so let's get started opening this box up. Now, I was quite surprised to find this under my Christmas tree. But hey, I'm not complaining about it, right? After seeing everybody on YouTube, you know, lose their minds in 2020 over this uh, camera, I said to myself, you know, what the heck is the deal with this camera? And after a little research from the gurus, like, you know, Gerald Dundun, who, by the way, has an excellent tutorial on the A7S III. So go ahead, I'll leave a link in the description. Go check him out for all the specs and how to use this thing. But what I found out is that the Sony 7S III is what they call a video-centric camera. You know, you get the no recording limit, 422, 10-bit. 4K at 120, and an articulating touchscreen. Ah, yes. Go ahead and drool a little bit now. So, uh, let's open it up and see, you know, what comes in this thing. So, let's start up right now, okay? And, uh, by the way, guys, it's nicely packaged. You know, I really dig the way, you know me, I'm big on the presentation. And uh, let me show you this side of the box so you can see. It has all the specs, you know, a lot of them that I just uh, described for you guys. You know, 12 megapixels, 759 AF points, 10 bit. It's got the optical steady shot, uh, tool dual slots. So, you know, this camera is uh, quite a thing. But, you know, let's see what you get for the price tag. I'm hoping that I'm still in focus, guys. I'm using today the Canon RP, and I've got the 24 to 105 on it. Um, I picked up the 35 millimeter for this thing, but I sort of like the idea of zooming in and out to, you know, get my shots. And this is the only corner of the room that I have left. You know, I'm in the process of doing my big uh, uh, studio renovation thing here. So yeah, this is it. Plus, it also gives me a chance to catch up on the football game. So let's uh, see what you get first. So you get the standard, you know, one year uh, warranty, all right? So you get a warranty limited to one year. You get a thing where you go to register your camera, which, you know, you should always register your, your camera. Uh, yeah. Bunch of things for lenses and uh, accessories that really nobody can afford. Yeah, Sony, thank you much. You get a little guide on which SD cards uh, work with the camera. And guys, you're going to have to look into those SD card situations. There's a few good uh, channels that I've visited. And uh, they go through what SD cards work for the different settings. You know, so this, this camera is going to, you know, there's homework to be done here. But anyway, you get that and you get your manuals. Right? And you know the manuals. Nobody reads this stuff until you actually get up one day and turn on your camera and it doesn't work. So yeah, keep these in a safe place, but okay, that's that. And then the box just has like this really nice like cover thing in here. So let's just go ahead and open that up to see. Let's put the manuals 
on the side. And what's the first thing you got? It's got like cute little like compartments. All right, so you get like the bunch of compartments and everything in here. So that's cool. First things first. Oh, nice. The camera strap. They give you a Sony A7S III uh, camera strap. So that's nice. I mean, I never, <laughs> I never really use the camera straps that come with the cameras, especially when they advertise what they are. Uh, technically speaking, uh, you shouldn't be wearing a camera strap that signifies to anybody, hey, if I snatch your camera, I can eat for a month because this camera is not cheap. So I basically never use camera straps that advertise what I'm shooting with for safety purposes, but that's just me. Okay, that's that. Uh, what's next in here? Oh, you get the bracket. Yes, I did uh, see on one of the reviews that I followed, uh, this bracket is like a cable management thing that you put on the side of the camera so that it helps if you're going to use the HDMI because this thing's got like full HDMI ports and stuff like that. So this is like a, a bracket that comes to protect the, you know, to protect all the little doors and everything. So yeah, that was neat that they installed that. I'm going to have to figure out how to work it. But uh, yeah, so you get one of those. You get, uh, let's see what in here. Oh, they included a USB, USB A to C, I think this is. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I mean, you can definitely charge up the camera with this thing as well. So they do include one of these. Oh, my God. oh the battery. Ooh. Wow, she's a nice big battery. And what I've heard around the YouTube sphere is that this battery is, uh, you know, it, it basically holds the charge pretty good. So, you know, it's bigger than, I think it was on the A7S II. But, uh, yeah, this, this is cool. And it's got like a little battery gauge. So you'll be able to see, uh, I think on the charger it's got the battery gauge. Let's see. Yep, here's the charger, guys. Yes. There's a battery gauge on the charger, so you'll be able to see the percentages, you know, how much time is left to, you know, left to charge your battery, so that's cool. And it's nice that Sony actually gave you something, you know, because a lot of cameras don't come with the, with the charger, you know, you usually get the battery and that's it, so this, this was neat. So you got the battery, the charger, and, oh, the plug for the charger, eh. All right, so you get the plug for the charger, but I sort of like the Canon charger because it's almost like a wall thing. You know, it has the prongs, so you just flip it out and put it right on your wall. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of these people that don't like wires and cables, which is why I'm redesigning my whole setup here. But, I mean, I guess it's okay. They did include the battery charger, and this is what you'll do to charge up your battery. So that was neat. Okay, so we got the battery, battery charger. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the accessories. So now let's check out the creme de la creme. Ooh, comes like really, really deep in the box. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, let's check that out over there. Let's open her up. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Everybody always does that smell test, right? No, I'm not going to be jumping around all over the place. Uh, you know, happy that I got this. Uh, I am happy that I got it, but, you know, a lot of the younger YouTubers, they just like all crazy and ballistic. And I'm the type that, okay, it's got to be a great camera, but unless it cures cancer and cooks dinner, not going there. But, yeah, she's pretty. And she's beefy. Nice, very nice. Let me just bring it up close here, guys, so you can see that. Yeah, there's your buttons. Wow, very nice. Man, am I going to have to do my homework with this? I was so scared of even suggesting that I get this camera because, as you guys know, I shoot with the SL2, and I just moved up to this Canon RP. I mean, I'm a 
Canon girl. I don't technically associate Sony with cameras. Um, I know they make good cameras. I started years ago with one of those little chintzy cyber shots. But, you know, for my better cameras, I've always used Canon. But I am fully aware of the Sony line of products and how good they are with their tech. Um, here in my home, especially in my bedroom, I'm surrounded by the Sony ecosystem. I mean, my TV is a Sony Bravia. My headphones, my wireless headphones are Sony. My phone is the XZ Premium. That's Sony. My tablet is a Sony. I mean, I'm familiar with Sony products. Even my smartwatch is a Sony. So, um, while I'm familiar with Sony for tech, you know, when everybody was raving about this camera, you know, I said, oh, wow, you know, let me, uh, let me do some homework here and check out to see what the gurus are saying, you know, because I always research everything, you know, that I'm purchasing. I love tech, and you know how I do on my channel. I basically don't say that I'm an expert, but I research the heck out of stuff, and everybody's opinion around here was like, yeah, this is the camera to go with, you know especially for video. It's a video-centric type of a camera and uh, supposedly Sony, uh, it took Sony like five years to develop this thing. So everybody was waiting for it. So that's what I guess all the hoopla was about. But, you know, I guess I got some homework to do here because I'm not familiar with the menu system or how to get around here. Let me just show you guys the fully articulated screen. Yeah, that's nice, right? Ooh, and supposedly it has uh, better, you know, better like the little the little things here that you flip out. Let me see if I can flip some of these out. Ooh, yes, it's got like these really great doors. Hope you guys can see it. So it's got like these little doors instead of like, you know, on my Canon, I'm always worried when I have to like manipulate those things to put in the mic or anything. But this is, this is nice, guys. Wow, feels good in the hand, too. Very nice. Let me show you the back of that so you guys can see that. Yeah, really, really nice. I don't know what the hell these buttons do over here, but like I said, it's going to be a learning curve for me because I'm coming from a Canon line of cameras. So, you know, I'm hoping that uh, I'll definitely be able to, uh, to work this thing and, you know, come back and show you this thing. But yeah. Feels good, definitely. Um, since I got the camera as a Christmas present, I went ahead and treated myself to two new lenses. And this is what I usually shoot with, guys. This is my SL2 with the Sigma 17-70. to I love this Sigma glass. Absolutely love it. But anyway, after doing a re little research, you know, on YouTube, like we all do, on this camera, I went ahead and said, okay, so I got the camera. Let me call the people over at Allen's Camera. Uh, in Pennsylvania, in Allentown, PA, great people. I mean, like, one-on-one, -on -one, if you ha have any questions, go to Alice's camera, they'll answer it, and they don't, like, rush you off the phone. But I told them that I had purchased this, or received this camera as a gift, and that I needed to purchase some lenses for it. And as much as I wanted that, what is it, the 16 to 35, that G Master? Uh, come on, Sony. I mean, $2,500 for a lens? Uh, no. So, I researched it a little more and I picked up the Sigma glass. And since I've had good luck with the Sigma for the Canon, um, I picked up a few ranges. I got the 14 to 28, and this is the art series of lenses, guys. So, it's Sigma's top-of-the-line lenses. Uh, the one I have on the SL2 is their C, their contemporary lens, which is great. So, I'm expecting good things from their top-of-the-line lens, but... For the Sony, I picked up the 14 to 24, the 2.8, and then I picked up the 24 to 70, uh, also 2.8. And both of these are their art series lenses. So I'm hoping that that, in combination with this camera, the image stabilization that this thing has, you know, step up my game in 2021. Because since I'm redesigning my entire you know, thing here, my bedroom, my life, you know, I plan to get serious this year on, you know, trying to create better content for you guys, and hopefully if I learn how to master this camera, then, you know, I'll consider myself, you know, lucky. But, yeah, that's it for now, guys. I mean, that's the accessories and the camera. Uh, it feels good. 
So let me see if I can, you know, go back to Gerald, like I said, and, you know, work some, uh, maybe Gerald can work some of his magic on me and I can figure out uh, the settings. But once I figure out the menu and how to operate it and all of that good stuff, I'll come back and, uh, you know, check it out and share it with you and do like a real world review thing, whatever they call that around here. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely come back and check and share my experiences uh, with you guys. So, that's it for now. Don't forget to uh, check out that video, my womb transformation thing. I'll leave a card somewhere. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe because you want to see me in 2021 trying to figure this thing out. And, and if I can do it, you can do it too. So, hasta la vista, baby. Ciao.